happy Friday, guys. It is January the 7th. Wow. We just made our first week through January. How awesome is that? I hope everybody's doing well today. And as you can see from the title, I have a um, doing a calendar. Um, let me just I wrote some notes here. So yeah, it's uh, January's 2022 calendar of the year. And we're doing for hats. So this is a crochet along. So um, I thought it would be fun. I never did anything like this for my, for my channel. And um, so I thought it would be something <clears throat> that everybody would enjoy doing. And so I'm excited about it. Um, Today, as you saw, is the sun came out and it stopped snowing. <laughs> Thank God. That's why I'm wearing this shirt. Let it snow. <laughs> Anyways, um, it was okay. You know, um, it was really cold. It was 18 degrees. My daughter needed to shovel her car out, but she made it out and made it to work. So everything's a-okay. So let's get back to the calendar crochet along yay i never had a crochet along so i'm hoping that you guys were really join in the fun okay so um i bought this calendar uh sometime in uh, uh, a month before thanksgiving i think it was october and i bought it in dollar tree had this beautiful calendar so it was a two-piece calendar and um and i want to share with you guys i thought it was beautiful um to, and it's perfect for the crochet along so this is the calendar and i i love it because it says butterflies and um so it's really i love it i'm kind of honoring my mom because she loved butterflies but uh so let me show you the month of january and um the colors and the picture there you go isn't that a beautiful butterflies so you could pick any color you want from this picture here you could stop and freeze the video look at it and you can see that there's almost like a jean blue on this butterfly there's a baby blue on it there's white and there's red but also over here you see the flower that the butterfly is on is it's like a teal color and then the background of the picture has purple in it so you could take a look at it and those are the colors that you could choose from from this picture any of those colors would be fine so we're gonna do this once a month okay so I thought it would be fun let me just go over some things with you guys um just some ideas I had so it's gonna be one item a month if you want to make two or more that's fine um so it's gonna be from January to December okay so one a hat a month and uh, you can make any different kind of hat you like uh, a beanie hat a slouchy hat you can make a cap you could also knit or crochet knitters are welcome crocheters for everybody and um you could do also a bucket hat okay hold on one second okay guys i'm back sorry about that but my grandson is they're home from school because there's no school today um because of the snowstorm that we had and um so yeah i did remind him i was making a video anyways let's get back to it um okay guys so <clears throat> that those would be the colors and um so like i was saying before you can make any cat hat you want and choose one of these colors or you could choose all the colors or you know just two colors it, you know whatever colors you want from that picture and um you can make a baby hat you can make any size hat you like in any kind of hat okay so um i was thinking because you know i want to donate hats to those in need uh you can at the end of the year you can keep your hats and make your for yourself or your family or even at the end of the year you got 12 hats to give out for christmas okay or you could donate them to your local uh, churches that do donate clothes to those people who need it or to the homeless or to a woman and children shelter. 
that's number two or number three you can send them to me and I could donate them to a uh, the homeless here okay so you choose what you want to do you just let me know in the comments down below and please comment down below and join the fun I'm hoping you guys would join me um, this is another way we could give back okay so and then what I was thinking of too is if you want you can send me a picture of the hat if you want and I can share it in my Instagram um, also you could go on my Facebook page I will put that down below and you could post your picture there and then at the end of the year I will for those who will donate would share their their hats a picture of their hats um at the end of the year i will be doing a slideshow with all the hats in my channel okay if you want me to add your names to it i will and if you want to don't not want me to add your name i will not if you want to be private that's fine so i will be showing those hats at the end of the year in a slideshow in my channel so I thought that would be fun you know something simple like that it start this is my first one so I just stuck to hats since I was planning to donate hats anyways and um, like I said this is a way for you to catch up early on with your crocheting for the end of the year for the holidays or you know you could donate it them yourselves now if you want to donate your hats to me please let me know and comment down below even if it's just one hat even if it's a couple hats that's fine they don't have to be all of them and imagine if it's like 20 of us or 20 of of us 25 of us doing this crochet along and we donate all our hats right so that would be about 250 hats even if you just give me one hat it will be 250 hats to donate to a shelter and um or a church that distribute clothes free clothes to people in need um even food banks um the churches that run food banks they also have a section where they have clothing for the people to come and grab what they need so yeah so i thought that would be fun so let me know com comment down below and let me know and um even if it's just five of us that would be you know that would be fun anyways but i could imagine if it's 25 of us you know when we donate all these hats that would be awesome okay so that's 12 hats per person so it's 12 hats per person so times the times tw uh 25 of us so you do the math it's actually probably uh 25 of us 12 hats i mean i'll put it down below i can't do it in my head right now i'm just recovering from being sick so let me know if you guys want to do that that would be fun i'm still going to do it and i'm going to definitely show you the colors again and this is for january so those are the colors all those beautiful colors right there and i don't have a hat made and i also need to order colors for mine because i don't have these colors um so i do have to order the yarn i've been as you know very sick <laughs> and thank god i'm doing much better now guys my grandson he's doing much better and even my youngest daughter so we want to thank you from the bottom of my hearts for those who were praying for us thank you as you know he tested positive with COVID, and um so most likely we also have COVID. um we have not been diagnosed with that yet but I am thinking we got it too so if I did get COVID this is not as bad as it was the first one the first one really put me in bed for seven days and I couldn't breathe I couldn't talk in complete sentences um it was I had a fever for seven days it was really bad so this one all that really bothered me was the sore throat and a little tiny coughing and headaches that's it so we're doing well thank you guys as you can see um, I probably need a day or two more to recover from my voice because I could feel it. It's kind of heavy here, but I, you could, you know, I sound better. So I thank God for that. I've been eating healthy. I've been drinking smoothies with uh, what I show you from my last videos, and also I've been treating my throat and my body with green tea. And I just want to share with you guys. I'm not having green tea right now because I have um, water, but this is the green tea. I buy the the green tea. And then I buy the lemon and ginger, okay? And I combine these two together in the same cup. 
I put one of each in my same cup with one spoon of sugar and a little bit of cream. This is so delicious, but this is what helped me. This helped me tremendously, okay? I even had my daughter drink it because she doesn't like tea, but I, when she's sick, I make her drink it. I do. So thank you guys for all your support. Um, you already know why I haven't really putting up a, a video out there, you know, just little quick videos here and there, but I haven't really put a video out there video because uh, I couldn't speak. My throat was hurting. So I'm doing much better now. And so, yeah. So guys, I hope you like this video. Um, please give it a thumbs up and um, I'll see you in my next video. Thank you for watching. God bless and take care. Bye for now.